Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. Today's date is April 14th, 2023. This is Morning Forex Technical Report, where we take a look at the technicals that are driving the currency market. So let's get started. Starting with uh, the, the euro versus US dollar, you can see the price as I'm uh, moving uh, to the downside. And below the uh, 110.30317 level, that level, uh, if trading yesterday, we came up to that level uh, and uh, stalled and then rotated back to the downside and then then moved uh, quickly to the upside uh, and uh, broke above that level and stayed above that level, uh, reaching a new cycle high uh, for this uh, currency pair at 110.75. You're going to have to see see that by taking a look at the daily chart. And this is what I mean. This uh, 110.317 level, not only was it a high intraday yesterday before breaking to the upside, but it also represents the high price going back to early February. That's this high price right here. So the market came up to that level, fell off, and then broke through that level, reaching new the highest levels going back to this uh, day, days back here, uh, which occurred um, you know, sort of in March, April of uh, 2022, so uh, over a year ago. Uh, and uh, that... Um, that, uh, so the move to the upside was a break to the upside, but as you as we saw on the hourly chart, the price is moving back below that 110.317 level, giving uh, traders uh, some um, uncertainty here. Uh, here, um, have we reached the high? Have the market has the market uh, reversed uh, to the low downside? Are we going to join to see some uh, further probing to the downside? Uh, helping the uh, move lower was uh, comments made by uh, Fed's Waller, which you just came out and said that uh, d recent data shows the Fed hasn't made much progress on inflation. More hikes are needed. Note he said hikes are needed. Uh, that uh, runs counter to uh, what the market is thinking. Uh, they have the January Fed funds contract somewhere around 4.37%. It's currently 5%. And... 82% of it going 82 chance of it going to 5.25% in May. So there's this big, huge spread between now and January for between the market, who sees the Fed cutting rates by the end of the year due to due to, to a recession, no doubt, and uh, the Fed, who uh, says we need to raise rates further. Maybe it, it does make sense because the Fed's going to go too much and force the economy into a recession. We will see how this all plays out, but uh, certainly markets are at odds with each other. Uh, but uh, technically, uh, what we do know, and that's why we look at technicals, is that the uh, uh, the price uh, moved back below the uh, 1.10317 level. And traders will be watching that area right here to see if the market can rotate back to the uh, stay, rotate to the downside, stay below that area, uh, and uh, continue its uh, probing to the downside, which we look forward to. The uh, price may be moving toward the 38.2% retracement, 1.09818, uh, or uh, maybe the high price uh, going back to this date right here on April 4th, which uh, comes in at 1.09728. So this area would be the support area. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, also uh, supported by uh, other uh, levels uh, through here, uh, where the market sort of based before moving to the upside and trading yesterday and into today. So that's a look at the uh, euro versus U.S. dollar. The bears are trying trying to take some control and push the market to the downside. Let's take a look at the dollar versus yen. If I take a look at the hourly chart here, uh, we're also seeing a move to the upside here in the uh, dollar versus yen over the last uh, few minutes of trading, and that has moved up to a nice key target up here, defined by the 100-day moving average. That's the step line here, and the 100-hour moving average. That's the smooth line right here. This is hourly chart, so it's more smooth. This is the daily. Uh, Daily, uh, this is a uh, daily moving average, so it steps. The downside, as you can see, both of them come in near the 133.189 level, and that's where the prime price just reached up to uh, and uh, is backing off. Why? Because uh, risk can be defined and limited against that level. Uh, if traders can sell against that level and maybe put a stop right here or somewhere in this area right here, they can risk this amount and hope for the market uh, to instead move uh, further to the downside, like maybe down back down toward the 38.2% retracement and uh, risk a little to make more than a little. That's the uh, name of the game in trading. But what we, what we know is that uh, that is a nice uh, nice level where, a technical level, where traders uh, like to enter the market uh, as a potential profit-taking level or a new position. So we are seeing some back off of that, away from that level. In trading today, we're going to be watching that level to see, uh, does the market move higher or does the market indeed go lower? 
but uh, I would expect that uh, we should see some support uh, if the market moves lower down toward the 132.72 level. Watch that level uh, on a, a dip. Uh, it was a low price uh, going back to this day right here. Uh, that would be, I guess, last Wednesday's uh, trade. So uh, there are a couple of reasons why that level should be important for traders and pay attention to that level on the downside. So in between uh, resistance up here, support down here in the dollar versus yen. Let's take a look at the sterling versus U.S. dollar next on the hourly chart. And, and like the euro versus U.S. dollar, it is moving to the downside here in the uh, last few minutes of trading and moves toward, uh, like the dollar versus yen, moves toward a couple moving average levels in this case it's the 200 hour moving average that's the green line in this chart and the 100 hour moving average that's the blue line in this chart both of them are converged near the 124.568 level and you can see the price move down to a, a low price uh, today so far uh 1.24626 so got within about six or seven pips of that and uh seeing some bounce off of that low current trading 124.78 again risk can be defined and limited against the dual moving average levels uh, traders put a stop, let's say right here, uh, by buying against against that level. And uh, but and if the price moves higher, then they have a risk a little, make more than a little, uh, and uh, that is uh, what traders are trying to do. So uh, key level uh, uh, at the one point two four five six eight for the sterling versus U.S. dollar. Pay attention to that level uh, going forward. On the top side, we did. Uh, extend uh, to new highs yesterday taking uh, the price above the high price uh, here from April 4th uh, but there's apprehension in trading here today and the Asian sets of the market moved even higher but rotated back to the downside so there is uh, you know, it just seemed like it was uh, ha having a very difficult time moving to the upside and we're seeing that uh, selling uh, take place here today as uh, as we head into the weekend weekend if I put a Fibonacci uh, from this uh, low to this high the uh, we did break below the 38.2 percent retracement the 50 percent retracement and this uh, swing area down here uh, makes it a nice uh, stop level if the price should go below that level uh, we should see further selling to the downside in the sterling versus US dollar finally uh, take a look at the dollar versus Canada we did uh, move to a new uh, if I go to the daily chart to a new low but that low uh, came into this uh, swing area on the daily chart and found support buyers against the low of that uh, swing area uh, there are uh, different uh, lows through here 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 admittedly uh, we did uh, lots of uh, lows right here at the low low end of the, the extreme and that's uh, where we kind of came down to admittedly we went below it here went below it here went below it here but the uh, most of the low prices you can see from the arrows is in this area between 132.98 and 33203 a nice little round number 133 as well natural support levels so we're seeing the bounce off of that level as a dollar rebound uh, against the dollar, uh, canadian dollar as well so there you have it a look at some of the major currency pairs my name is greg michalowski good fortune with your trading today bye bye